Hey guys, thanks for joining me again for another episode of my YouTube channel, Long Live the Brains. Today I want to talk to you about another neurodegenerative disease called multiple system atrophy, or MSA for short. Now I've talked to you about Parkinson's disease as well as Lewy body dementia, or dementia with Lewy bodies, DLB, and MSA shares a very important aspect to these other diseases that alpha-synuclein, that abnormal protein that misfolds and causes neurons to die or degenerate, i.e., or, um, you know, in other words, neurodegeneration. Multiple system atrophy is different from those other diseases, though, but sometimes it can be difficult to differentiate them. Um, multiple system atrophy can come in uh, multiple, no pun intended, multiple shapes and sizes. Um, it tends to have two flavors, so there's one um, that we call the Parkinsonian uh, type, or MSAP, and this is the one that tends to be um, misdiagnosed as Parkinson's disease most often. Patients will have Parkinsonism, remember that's bradykinesia, rigidity, um, they could have resting tremor, they could have some postural instability. Um, they will also have autonomic dysfunction. Now, um, I talked previously about um, what the autonomic nervous system is and what autonomic dysfunction is. Autonomic dysfunction is absolutely critical to the diagnosis of multiple system atrophy. Now these patients um, um, may also experience other uh, symptoms such as REM sleep behavior disorder. I talked about RBD previously as well. Now there's another uh, phenotype of MSA, it's MSAC. The C stands for cerebellar. Now these patients tend to look a little bit different than MSAP. Um, rather than having a disease that looks a lot like Parkinson's disease, they may have a phenomenon called ataxia, um, which essentially means incoordination. So these patients are going to have incoordination, clumsiness, maybe have issues with balance and walking, they may come in with frequent falls. Um, but they're also going to have the autonomic dysfunction. So remember, autonomic dysfunction can come in uh, different shapes and sizes. It could be um, difficulties regulating your blood pressure. Um, so individuals may have uh, be at increased risk of passing out, um, which can be very dangerous. May have difficulty regulating bladder or bowel function or sweating function. So the autonomic nervous system is really involved in a lot of things. It's the automatic nervous system that we don't have to think about. So multiple system atrophy kind of comes in two flavors. We've got MSAP, which can oftentimes be misdiagnosed as Parkinson's disease. And we have MSAC, which is those individuals that may have um, some issues with balance and in coordination. Um, the, the shared characteristic is really gonna be dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. So what do you do with this information? Um, if you're concerned that you may be dealing with one of these diseases, it's important to talk with your physician about it. Um, and um, that physician um, will do a screen and if necessary, um, get you into an office with a neurologist so that you can be diagnosed accurately.